Hey and welcome to Mini Goken Reviews. Today we're looking at nothing. Not a single thing. I'm not in the mood to talk about some bare bones, bland, Furiosa from Mad Max Fury Road figure. That probably exists. What would I even talk about? Dragon? Anime girl? Robot. Okay, I'm in. Let's rewind. Today we're looking at the Hagane Works Mecha Ellie. This is one of those fates I've heard about. No clue what that is. And apparently this is supposed to be Elizabeth Bothery. I think it's Bothery, who is not a robot but rather a fucking murderer. The first Google result says she killed approximately 80 to allegedly 650 people. And you know what? That's not cool. Come on now, no need to put her down like that. She killed at least 80 people. That's still a lot. You go, girl. So why is this a robot? I don't know and I don't care. If I look into it, someone is just gonna tell me I'm wrong anyway. So why even bother? This might look like I'm conceding, but you're forgetting that earlier I said I didn't care. You know what else this looks like? It looks like it's time to talk about how this looks. I have some things to say about the visual aspects of this figure, in that she's adorable and I love her. Wait, no. But I do find this very cute. I just want to put her in a little jar for safekeeping. There's her jar joke, leave me alone or do leave a comment about it. Also like and subscribe. This design is the mecha version of anime Elizabeth Bothery, who is the anime version of real life Elizabeth Bothery, who is the real life version of allegedly a serial killer, who also allegedly bathed in the blood of her victims. Which, you know, that's just hot. What, you expect the vampire guy to think that's bad? Fuck off. Regular Fate Ellie does not have an articulated figure, which might surprise you, because this is Fate. But it's niche? Fate? Since it's not Saber, but again. Which is a shame, because this is at least more interesting. Let me tell you why I like this design. I kinda don't. I don't dislike it, but... Girl, yo fit be whack AF. That being said, I don't have a problem with it here. Since she doesn't have skin to show off. Like the real Elizabeth Bothery because she's fucking dead. Oh, so hot. Actually, no. It's lewd. Okay, I'm gonna stop sexualizing the dead person, but to be fair, they did it first. So now it's time to articulate the dead person. This being a good small thing that's an anime figure that's articulated, you might assume it's basically a figma, which, uh, not quite. Hagane works, I think, translates to metal works. So was there metal work done here? Very little, but yes. Does it contribute to the feel of the figure? Again, very little, but yes. Sure. The plastic feels more like something that would be on a robot figure than a Figma. The range of articulation is actually better as well. Or at least was when this came out. Case in point. She does struggle to stand, but you would too if you didn't have feet. I'm bringing this up first because this design is basically a parody of Super Robot, and I really enjoy this figure is like a spoof of a Chogokin. Good shit, good smile. This applies to the other accessories too, except for the hands, which are hands. And her faces, which are adorable and I love her. No. As a machine, she comes off cold and dead. The ideal woman. I said I'd stop sexualizing the dead person. I did not say I'd stop making necrophilia jokes, although I think I'm out now. Also, the figure is actually very expressive. Unlike the real Elizabeth Bothery, because she's fucking dead. Like you'll be when she fingers you. Fisting is also an option. Or, we can do something more vanilla. Mm. 
Don't like vanilla? Here's the stuff with a twist. Still no? How about shocking ball torture? You know, you're no fun. Laser eyes. Focus through your pupils like a scalpel. Instant lobotomy. The effects like this eye beam, the shocking beam, and the rocket effects are a flexible material, unlike the effects on the metal build Mazinger, meaning they shouldn't break easily. Oh wait, first we need to talk about the dragon. By combining the bottom of the skirt and the bullshit on her back, you get a bullshit dragon, part of that parody on Super Robots that I talked about earlier. How big is this dragon? You don't care. Go back. Guts, Mazinger, Wudens. Overall, what a great joke. I'm still gonna say it, but you already know what I'm gonna say. If you like how it looks and don't mind the price, I can recommend it. Otherwise, eh. That's about it, thank you to the patrons. Holy shit, this guy's a fucking dumbass. Thank you to Fallout Reviews for their recording contributions. Also, nothing else. I'll see y'all next time. Like and subscribe.